Hey everyone, I've got another really beautiful Mate in Two puzzle here. Uh, this particular one was composed by Sam Lloyd back in 1859. Uh, a very nice puzzle. It is the, uh, the solution to this one is Checkmate in Two uh, for white and Checkmate in Two against all defences. Uh, so as an extra challenge to you, try and see if you can not only find the right idea with the mate and two, but try and see if you can find all of the solutions that lead to checkmate and two. So good luck. It's a very difficult puzzle, this one, but I'm sure you'll love the solution when I uh, reveal it to you. So just to remind you, mate and two, white to play. Okay. So the solution to this is a very, very nice waiting move. It's what we call in chess a quiet move. And that's the move queen to a5. This is the only solution to this. Uh, and what we've done with this move is we've now stopped this pawn from moving. But we put black in a position that we like to call a zugzwang. I've talked about zugzwang on my channel before, but essentially it's putting your opponent in a position where uh, if he had the choice of moving or not, he'd like to not move. But unfortunately, with the rules of chess, he has to move. So you put him into a position where he has to move. He can't pass his turn. So basically here, we've got a bit of a predicament. Whatever black does in this position, it's going to be checkmate on the next move. Don't believe me? Well, let's have a look at all of the possible solutions. So let's first focus in on this knight. Uh, so against the move bishop to b7, we've got a quite a simple way of winning this. Uh, I say simple, uh, it's still difficult to do. But with this bishop moving away from the defence of this diagonal, we can now play the move knight to f5. This is checkmate. Notice how the king and the queen combine. Uh, so the knight and the queen combine to then checkmate the king. So we can't do that. So it's all about, what's interesting about this is all about what we like to call the weakness of the last move. We're putting black in a position where he is relinquishing his defence of a certain square by moving a piece away from it. So by moving the bishop away, we're able to do checkmate on f5. Now, what about the move bishop to d7? How does black white uh, deliver checkmate now? Well, queen to d5 is checkmate again. This is all to do with the weakness of the last move. This bishop, by moving here, he is no longer defending this uh, square that the rook was now covering. Going back again, what about bishop to e6? Well, it looks as though, uh, you know, this defends against this, right? This looks like the best option. Unfortunately, now, this bishop is now blocking this rook from coming to the defense of this square. So now checkmate on e5 is possible. Checkmate in two. Very, very nice. Okay, so we've covered nearly all of the bishop moves. We'll look at the last one here, which is bishop to f5. Uh, not another great move, as we can just capture this bishop. This is now checkmate. So we've covered all of the light square bishop moves. Now, let's focus on what happens if we move this rook. So there's only three squares this rook can go to. If we move this rook to d7, then we've unfortunately now blocked this bishop from defending this square on f5. So we can now deliver checkmate with the knight. Very, very nice. And after this move, we've now blocked the bishop from controlling the uh, the c the c5 square and also so I should say the b4 square which uh, is now no longer defended so we can take this pawn on b4 very nice and the final move uh, well it's not really a great move as we can now capture this rook the knight and the queen are are working together to give a really nice checkmate we call this a kiss of death checkmate because the queen is defended by this lovely knight here. Okay, going back. So all those rook moves don't work. Well, what about this rook? If we move to e7, we have the same problem. It no longer defends this b4 square. Funny enough, actually, there's two checkmates in this one. You can actually do 
uh, either queen to b6 or queen to b4. But let's do b6, b4, because that's quite thematic with our ideas here. You know, this bishop now relinquishing its defense, the weakness of the last move. Going back, what about rook to e6? Well, again, this now blocks this bishop. Ah, so frustrating for black, as now the knight can jump in with checkmate. Last one, what about rook here? Well, we can take this quite simply. We've got the pawn defending the queen this time, delivering checkmate in one. Okay, we're on to the final piece that can move this bishop. Well, we can discount both bishop to g7 and h6. Both these moves uh, fail pretty miserably to uh, queen to b6 here. Uh, is the, Oh, no, it's queen to b4 as well. Queen to b4. Yeah, doesn't really work. So we can discount those two. Uh, what about moving this bishop to here? Again, we have a similar problem. We blocked our rook from defending this square. So queen to e5 is possible. Uh, and what about queen to what about bishop to d6 in this position? Again, we can move this queen here to d5 checkmate. Now, the final solution is very nice, and it's very different to what we normally see, is that's the bishop to c5. I think this is probably the hardest one for um, some, some white players to maybe see. Here we've got to be very creative. Queen to a1. Oh, what a nice move. We've come all the way from h5 to a1, and now we've delivered checkmate on a1. You don't see it very often. You don't see queen come to a1 delivering checkmate, do you? Doesn't happen, doesn't happen. So there we go. So that's a very, very nice puzzle. I really like the one, as I say, uh, it really emphasizes the Zooks Wang and the idea and the weakness of the last move idea. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you like what you see, check out some of my other videos on my channel. And uh, I also, as I say, I have lots of other Checkmate in 2 puzzles, very difficult ones, and some endgame studies that you might enjoy watching. Uh, I do also have some other videos as well, but you can check those out in your own time. Anyway, if you like this, what you see, give this one a like. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Take care.